everyone! Today we are going to discuss, as I promised before, the top 5 CV writing and application mistakes, focusing on method. Mistake number one is failing to adapt your CV or your application to the requirements of a certain job or to a certain industry if you're sending a speculative application. You always need to think that your application writing begins as a response to something and to someone to a job advert or to a certain employer or company or to a certain academic department if you're um, sending an academic application. Before writing your application, make sure you ask yourself these questions. What are the skills that I need to demonstrate to this employer? What does the ideal candidate for this position look like? What in my experience resonates mostly with the requirements of this job advert? Mistake number two is not being selective enough. A good CV or a good application should not tell the whole history of your experience, but should be a selective portrait of your relevant skills and experience, which are best in line with the requirements of a certain job. Every time you decide to include an experience in your CV, always ask yourself, will this particular employer be interested in this content or in this experience? Does this experience show relevant skills that are suitable for this specific job, this specific company, this specific employer? Mistake number three is taking things for granted. I hear a lot about students who don't think they should add their IT skills, for example, to their CV because everyone nowadays can use Word and Excel. First of all, IT skills are not just Microsoft Word and Excel. There is a lot more to it. And especially now that a lot of people are working from home and there is a lot of there are a lot of things happening online, then it is increasingly important to show the employer that you can use confidently a wide range of skills of a platform if the job requires you to be IT knowledgeable. Secondly, employers look for evidence in your CV and applications. They don't assume things that you, don't, you do not include in your CV or application. So if a job requires you to demonstrate IT skills, then your CV and application should address this point in the same way as it addresses all the other points. Mistake number four is not owning the page. And what does this mean? It means a series of things such as inappropriate spacing, for example, or inconsistent formatting, using a layout which doesn't encourage the reading. Often these things happen when you use a template for uh, your CV, which limits your ability to own the page and to be in charge when it comes to deciding how much space you want to give to a certain uh, content in your page. Mistake number five is to think that quantity always win over quality. It is a common belief that the more CVs and applications you send, the more chances of su success you should have. I sometimes hear from students that they've sent, for example, 50 applications in a week and they didn't get any responses. Um, it's worth thinking about the fact that not always quantity works in favor when it comes to application writing. In terms of effectiveness of method, it is much better to concentrate on a fewer number of applications and really channel your energy and effort into tailoring, adapting and really working on the quality of your applications rather than the quantity. Employers have experienced eyes when it comes to recruitment, they can tell straight away when reading an application, if that application has been crafted with attention and with effort. I hope this was useful and please do not hesitate to book an application advice appointment if you need any feedback on your CV or applications. Bye bye!